So I'm Jonathan Trent. I work for NASA, but I'm not here representing NASA. I work also for a company called Upcycle Systems. This is actually quite a profound concept. The notion of thinking about the future as a guide rather than thinking about the past. So your question was, how can we how can we think about the future to help guide us into the future rather than thinking only about the past and bringing with us what we have as our sort of heritage and relics of, the, of previous times? How can we escape from our past to be able to make our more profitable and, and beautiful future? And that is really the message that I was trying to convey, in which we've been doing things that seem really out of the box, thinking about going to Mars, putting people on Mars, and wondering about how difficult it was. And the message that I was conveying was, isn't it amazing to think that it's so difficult to do something like colonize Mars, that the process of thinking about it creates an opportunity here on Earth. Because applying our knowledge of problem solving on Mars to the problems on Earth will be Earth shaking, no pun intended. It will be great. And so that's what we're proposing in Upcycle Systems. And it's all based on the very foundation of our civilization, water, food, and energy. These are key elements. And we want to figure out how to do that better by shifting the emphasis away from what we've been doing for 10,000 years in the form of farming and making something new, land use that includes water and food and energy on that same piece of land. very enthusiastic. So I've been here for three days. I spent the first day at a hackathon where I was meeting young students. There were 500 students as part of this hackathon. And it was really exciting to see the level of enthusiasm. You know, there's a famous uh, philosopher uh, in the United States named Ralph Waldo Emerson. And Emerson once said that all great discoveries begin with enthusiasm. And I saw massive quantities of enthusiasm at the hackathon. So that already gave me the impression that Algeria is an up-and-coming country because the youth is so enthusiastic and so motivated. So that was the beginning. And then yesterday at the Smart Cities Summit, you summoned the top, the top politicians. I mean, the governor of Algeria, the prime minister of the country, so already coming to a conference on smart cities. This to me says that you have a view that is looking forward and hopefully you won't get stuck in the old model of trying to just copy the West or copy other countries, but find your own way based on your heritage, but also based on your creativity and not just be trying to use some model that exists somewhere else in the world. Because frankly, the world isn't working as well as you would probably like it to work in the future. For me, a smart city is a city that secures its water, its food, and its energy so that all of its citizens feel comfortable in whatever creative enterprise that they would like to d develop for their lives, but they do not have to worry about the foundation of their civilization. It's said that we are nine meals away from anarchy. If we miss meals for three days, we are going to not be civilized anymore. And if we think that's true, then being smart means make sure that we have secure water, food, and energy. And that's what the Upcycle Systems is trying to do. And we can do it using technology developed for space exploration and all that we've learned about systems and systems approaches and most importantly, our computing power and our ability to do machine learning and neural networks and decision intelligence and artificial intelligence. We're building basically a system for the 21st century to stabilize water, food, and energy.